In this video I am going to demonstrate how to find the centroid of a trapezium. I'm going to use the trapezium shown. First thing to do is to drop a perpendicular down from this point to the base and form a right angle triangle there and similarly perpendicular down from this point to the base and form a right angle triangle here as well. So, so now this trapezium has been divided up into three sections, a right angle triangle, a rectangle and another right angled triangle. This height here is 12 centimetres This is 12 centimetres here, and because this is 45 degrees, this must be 12 centimetres here, and obviously we've got 15 again here. So I now need to work out the missing base distance, and this is going to be 12 over tan 60 degrees which equals 4 root 3 so the base of the left hand triangle is 4 root 3 centimeters I'm going to denote the centroid of the left right angle triangle as C dash and now I need to find the coordinates of C dashed relative to this bottom left vertex, which I'm going to let be the origin 0, 0. Now, for a right angle triangle, the x coordinate of the centroid is 2 thirds along this distance, two thirds. So the x coordinate of C dashed will equal two thirds of the base of that triangle, which is four root three, giving an x coordinate of eight over three root three. And similarly, the y coordinate of the centroid of a right angle triangle, that distance there, is one third of the height, the vertical height of the triangle. So y c dashed equals one third times the vertical height, which is 12, which equals 4. So the coordinates of the centroid of the left hand right angle triangle are 8 over 3 root 3 and 4. I'm going to denote the centroid of the rectangle C double dashed, which is that one there. So relative to the origin, the coordinates of C double dashed are 4 root 3 plus half of 15, 15 over 2, and the y coordinate is obviously half of 12, which is 6. So, lastly, the centroid of the right hand right right angle triangle is going to be C triple dashed and using a similar process to the first right angle triangle to find the x coordinate it's going to be a third of the distance along the base of that triangle so x c double dashed is going to equal 4 root 3 
plus 15 which brings you to that point there plus a third of 12 and that gives 4 root 3 plus 19 And the y coordinate, so that'll be y, c, double dashed, will again be a third of 12, which is 4. So the centroid of the right right angle triangle has coordinates 4 root 3 plus 19. That's the x coordinate, and the y coordinate is 4. The next thing to do is work out the area of the three separate parts. So, area of the left right angle triangle will equal a half times its base times its vertical height giving 24 root 3 centimetres. The area of the rectangle will equal 15 times 12 which is 180 centimetres squared. And lastly, we've got the area of the other right angle triangle, which would be a half times base times height, which equals 72 centimeters squared now we need to find the area of the trapezium by simply adding up those three areas and that comes to 252 plus 24 root 3 centimeters squared now if I call this well this basically the trapezium will be x the x-axis and coming up from there that will be the y-axis so the next thing to do is to take moments about the y-axis so I'm going to take moments about the y-axis so first of all I need the area of the trapezium and I need to and then that's the area of the trapezium and I'm going to denote the distance from the origin as x bar so this point here, C, is in fact the centroid of the trapezium. So this will have coordinates of X bar and Y bar. And that's going to equal the area of the left hand triangle times the X coordinate of the centre of gravity which is that plus the area of the rectangle times its well centroid its x coordinate centroid which is 4 root 3 plus 15 over 2 and then added to that 
the area of the right hand triangle which is 72 times the x coordinate of that centroid and if you work that out x bar equals 15.86 to two decimal places. Now similarly, take your moments about the x-axis again the area of the trapezium but this time times y bar and that's going to equal the area of the left triangle times its y coordinate of the centroid, which is 4, plus the area of the rectangle times the y coordinate of that centroid, which is 6, plus the area of the right triangle which is 72 times the y coordinate of that centroid which is 4 and solving that gives the y coordinate of the central y bar as 5.23 so relative to the origin the centroid of the trapezium has coordinates of 15.86 and 5.23.